the Craftacular Creator and today I am sharing a process video for Craft Ruler episode 177. This is the card I made, the sentiment really makes me smile and it also has a Wonderland theme. For this video I will be stenciling using a sticky mat and also making word fetty. As this is a Craft Ruler process video I have parameters to meet, these are displayed on the screen. For the game parameter I'm using All and Create Flamingos and Alice in Wonderland and for the checked random parameter I'm using Miss Ink's Wonky Check Stencil. I begin by colouring the flamingos. I'm sure some of you may be wondering at this point what flamingos and Alice in Wonderland have to do with games. Well, in the book Alice's Adventures in Wonderland in Chapter 8, Alice is invited to play a game of croquet with the Queen of Hearts. However, rather than a normal mallet and ball, poor Alice must master the use of a flamingo mallet and a hedgehog ball. This imagery is captured wonderfully in the film and is one of my favourite scenes. As I colour, I will also take this opportunity to tell you about Craft Roulette. It is the ultimate YouTube card making game show on almost every Friday evening at 6.10pm Central Time in the US, 12.10am UK time. Mary Gunn, the hostess, spins the wheel, four craft parameters are chosen, guest crafters react, collect supplies and then spend a while crafting and chatting. It allows a great community of crafters from all over the world to get together via YouTube, the Craft Roulette Facebook page and the amazing craftroulette.live website. To successfully stencil backgrounds, I have a few tried and tested tools that I really love to use. These are the Picket Fence Studios ink pouncers and the Alter New Sticky Mat, taken out of the stamp oil base for this video. The sticky mat grip grips the stencil well, I find there is no movement of the stencil while blending and as previously mentioned in other videos, I love the ink pouncers for stenciling. I use Black Soot Distress Oxide Ink on Nina Classic Quest 80 pound cardstock for ink blending. Here I start to work on the layout of the card. I want to stack my flamingos and so I have a little play about with the best order. Tut tut! See that exposed ink pad there? Don't worry, I do put the lid on eventually. I wanted to try something different with my sentiment this week. I stamped it out as normal but carefully trimmed each word individually. I have heard this be called word fetty in the past and I like that so I'm going to adopt this going forward. For little tiny pieces like this I trim a piece of glad press and seal and place it over the arranged words and then I put it to one side so that I could carry on with the card. I needed an Alice to fill the gap next to the flamingos and I used one of my favourite versions. I stamped and coloured her in off screen. I thought her colours plus the flamingo colours were perfect for a summer vacation element. Time to assemble the card. I remembered that I needed the picture frame element so I cut a piece of lawn fawn raspberry cardstock to be the frame around the chet panel. I did all of the images and panel with liquid glue. Now, at this point, if I had big eyes like Alice, I would have realised that there was a word missing in the sentiment. Did you spot it? I carried on merrily, not noticing at all. I even did my ta-da without spotting it. It wasn't until I was about to upload the card to the Craft Roulette Facebook page that I noticed that Alice was missing. Not the image, of course, the word. So, a tip for all. Check, check and triple check your finished cards to check that they are in fact finished. Oh look, the parameter was check too. It's like Mr Will knew. Thank you so much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Ta-ta for now everyone. Take care and I'll be back soon.